So, you're going to be coming here for the fourth as well, I hear. I heard that from Max, but there has to be some kind of a miscommunication here, right? Good evening, Irene. There was no miscommunication there, but why would you think that? Well, this time it's just going to be the family coming out here. Why would Max be bringing a stranger along with him to our family gathering? Don't you find that a little strange of him to think he'd need to do that? Irene, I already know about how you hate me incredibly for no real reason besides just hate. But I've been married to Max for three years now, so can you please give all of that up? And I have been coming to your guys' house for the past two years for the 4th of July. You can call me a stranger all you want, but I'm still a part of your family, whether you like it or not. What? <laughs> you really think of yourself as part of this family? I don't ever remember thinking of you as being in our family. Is that so? All right then, Irene. But this time I am once again coming there with my husband, so please expect the both of us. We'll be staying for two days there. I know you want to be here so that you can get all of the high-end foods we'll be eating, right? You truly are such a sad sight. That is not my reason for coming along this year. That's never been my reason for coming out to your house at all. Something like the 4th has always been a family event for you guys, and I feel it wouldn't look good to make me stay at home during that event while Max goes there. There also happens to be your husband and the rest of the family who would like to see me, so please don't ruin the rest of our fun by making me stay away. You say that like anybody actually wants to see you when you're coming to stay the night in our gorgeous house. There's no way any of my family wants you here besides Max, and that is why you're a stranger to us. You don't even understand how difficult it is for us to set this whole gathering up. Well, if you'd like some help with the preparations, I can come and help. If it's things like cooking or cleaning the house, I can come and take care of all of that for you. That's what I was planning on telling you before you started to text me today. I even said that last year when I came along, but you told me you didn't want my help. I said I didn't want your help because I know you're useless. So stop trying to act like a good wife to this family when you are good for nothing. <laughs> I have no idea why my son and my husband happen to like you so much when the rest of this family knows better than that. We all know you are a waste of this family's time and that you can never help anyone. Seriously, why does my husband have to be so happy whenever the topic of discussion is you? And it's been three years already, yet you have not given birth to any kids. Max and I haven't had any kids yet because we have a time in which we plan to try. So please stay out of something as personal as that is to us. And a wife like you that can't bear any children for her husband's family is a waste of time. Yet you still feel as though you can come out to our family gathering on the 4th. All because you feel you can come here and eat all our food that I'll be making. You make me sick, Lucille. <laughs> I really don't think you should be saying things like that about me. Like I said, I'm aware that you hate me and don't want anything to do with me. But we only ever have to do something like this twice a year, so... Please, just act nice and I'll reciprocate that feeling as well. And I'll keep saying this to you because I should and, and that's that I'll help you with anything you need. So if you have anything for me to do, please let me know. There is nothing a useless wife like yourself can do though. Now if you really, really want to come out to my house that badly, then come right over. But you will learn to regret making that choice this time, so I'd give up on this if I were you. Please don't say anything scary like that to me, all right? I still plan on coming with Max. I really want to just be calm around one another and get this whole 4th of July over with. Therefore, would you please play nicely with me just for those two days? I have to get going now, Irene. Did something happen between you and my mom today? Well, what happened today is your mom made it very clear to me that she doesn't want me coming with you to your parents' house. So that's what's going on now. Did she bring anything up with you today? Well, just a bunch of crap again, but the same old, same old. She seems to have a rather odd hobby of always talking poorly about me. But I'd really love it if this time she could just play nice with me for a couple of days. I only have to really meet with her twice a year, and I always offer to help her with any preparations she needs to get done. But I think this time we'll be alright, Lucille. I've talked with her myself this time, and she said she needs to cut it out when it comes to how she harasses you. I see, but Max, 
I'm not sure she cares about what you have to say. Your mom really, really hates me with a passion. And I just have this anxiety now where I worry she'll never ever come to even grounds with me being your wife and a part of the family. But my dad isn't going to give her any more chances if she acts up. My dad knows that my mom has been a pretty terrible person. He can't watch it happen anymore. So I really do believe that this time he will not let her get away with it. I really do hope that's the case. You don't have to worry, alright? Also, my mom loves to make herself look good in front of my family, so as long as someone is around you two, she shouldn't act up anymore. This time, a lot of my family will be coming, so you should be in good hands. You can relax and stay by me if you want, so that you feel safe and can eat all you want. <laughs> but Max, she told me that she thinks the only reason I'm going back to her place is to eat all her food. After being told that, I don't want to eat anything anymore. You really do not have to worry yourself this time, Lucille. I've already talked with her once and she seemed to get the message, so I'm not going to say anything else to her because that might start annoying her. But no matter what happens there, I'll be around to protect you. My dad and the rest of the family all really appreciate you a ton and want to make you happy. You can just forget about my mom being a jerk and enjoy the 4th of July. If you think it's really okay for me to stop thinking about her, then I'll do that. But if she comes up and says anything else to me or treats me in any way that's outright wrong, I'm not going to hold back. I've already had to put up with enough from her, so I'm really at my limit. And if that happens, I'll be right there with you. So please, relax. Well, hearing that from you does make me feel a little better. Alright, I'll try to focus on not worrying as much about her and instead looking forward to being around the rest of your family. I went and warned you so much, yet you still chose to show up here? So this is what they mean by saying one gets all fired up because I am fuming right now. Irene, the way you just behaved there was not okay at all. And it was very hurtful towards me doing that. All you did was sit there talking to me about how much you hated me and listed off every single thing you dislike. Then when it came to lunch, you had nothing prepared for me to eat while everyone else got a full plate. Well, of course that's how I'm going to behave with you. You're the one that came into my home again when I never ever wanted you here. So you're telling me you're going to keep treating me this way as long as I'm here? And that you purposefully made sure I didn't have anything to eat for lunch? Huh? Oh, you really are being audacious right now by talking to me like that. You already know my answers, don't you? Had you really wanted something to eat for lunch today, why didn't you come over to me and ask for a plate? Stop acting like I meant everything I did today when you should have communicated with me more. Are you that stupid or something? Wait, what do you mean I should have come to you and asked for a plate? Nobody else was going to you to ask for a plate, so why should I have had to? Because you are not a part of this family. And that means you don't get to have access to the same high-end food the rest of this family gets. But not bringing me any food at all is completely messed up. And what's so bad about that? You seem to have fattened up again, so you need to lose some weight. You didn't need any of that lunch today. Tonight, we will be having steaks and lobster. However, all you'll be getting is some ground beef. Are you kidding me, Irene? So you really didn't want me coming to your house today. A fat ass like yourself can have steak sauce for dinner. <laughs> Irene, I can see you're having a grand time there picking on me, but I'm really reaching my limits with you over here. Can you start thinking about what you're going to say to me before you speak? What are you saying? You're the one who has come to my house and now relies on me to eat and sleep. If you don't like the way I talk to you and the way I treat you, then get the hell out of my house. I would not be bothered by you leaving one bit. And how do you think anyone else here would notice you're gone? Of course not, because nobody cares about a useless wife like you. The rest of the family is all here to eat really good food and watch the fireworks this weekend. Now, you can come and join us for dinner in a little bit, but remember that the only thing you'll be given to eat is some steak sauce that you can lick from the plate. I'm going home. And don't you ever come back here again. <laughs> I don't need to, because I am literally at my limit and cannot be asked to deal with you anymore. So I'm going to head home now and you will never have to worry about me again. In other words, I'm cutting ties to you. 
Go right ahead and do that. And when you say you're cutting ties to us, you also mean you'll cut ties to Max, right? You're getting as far away from my whole family as you can, right? You really think I meant your whole family when I said that? No, I'm only cutting ties to you, Irene. Everyone else will still be able to talk with me. But this will be the end of me sending you guys any more money. What? What money have you been sending us? A lot. And now you will no longer be getting that money from me. I was originally doing it for the sake of your husband because he really needed help. I talked with Max about him and we agreed that we'd be sending him money once a month to help out. However, from here on out, we will no longer be sending you guys a penny. That's how I feel now about just how poorly you've been treating me. What do you keep going on about right now? You are just making up lies about sending us stuff like that money. I'm not sure what amount you think you've been sending us, but I'm sure it's only Max who would be sending it if that's the truth. Each month, 3,000. What? For the past year while I've been married to Max, we've been sending 3,000 each month. You've known about how your husband's company's been going under inch by inch every day. We found out about it as well and tried to do something to help him and his company out of that rut he's been sinking in. What are you talking about? 3000 a month? And my husband's company has been going under? Maybe it's best that you didn't know anything about everything that's been going on. If you'd like to know, I was sending 2000 a month and Max has been sending 1000 Huh? I just got promoted not too long ago, and that means my salary has gone up a reasonable amount, meaning I can afford to give 2000 each month. Because of that, though, I haven't really been able to save up as much money as I would have liked to. And that slowed down my plans of having kids. What? You're not kidding. So you had no idea about any of this, yet you continued to go on and on with your complaints about me to Max? And you've only made things worse by treating me the way you've been today. I'm fed up with you now, so consider our ties cut. And that is totally fine with me. I'm sure that everything you're saying to me right now is all a stupid joke, but I'm not falling for it. You have to try harder than telling such unbelievable lies as those. You have the right to believe me or not believe me, so go ahead and do whatever you want once I'm gone. But I will not be coming back here after I'm gone, and that will be the end of any money coming into your house. I hope you love living the rest of your life as a moneyless old woman. Bye-bye now. <coughs> Lucille, do you think you could talk with me for a second? By the way, where are you at right now? Why does it matter to you where I'm at right now? I've already left your house, and I thought I made it very clear to you that our ties have been cut. Lucille, how about you start by calming down first? I think there have been a few misunderstandings between you and I here. So let's work on clearing everything up between one another now. What do you think? What was that? <laughs> Things have already been made very clear between us now. So there's no need to talk through any of your misunderstandings. Goodbye now. <laughs> Wait, I'm not just talking about that. I heard a lot of things from both Max and my husband. It seems like I had a lot more misunderstandings of you than I had thought. You really had been sending my house all that money each month, along with my son, with the intent of helping my husband. I made it clear to you earlier today, but you didn't seem to want to believe me. So I'm not sure why you want to talk with me about it now. At the time, I really didn't think any of that could be true. But that's why I'm apologizing to you for all of it now, right? It was just a misunderstanding. Now, if you really do stop sending us money every month, things will really head downhill for my husband's company. That's not a good thing to do, I'm telling you. You'll be ending my husband's and my way of life by doing that. I think you're still mistaken. It's not going to be you and your husband who can't live the life they've been living anymore. It'll just be you who suffers that fate. What? What do you mean by that? Because of all your uncontrolled spending, you have really made a dent in the money your husband has needed. He told you plenty of times that his company needed the money to stay upright, yet you never listened to him and understood. The only person who is really going to be affected by Max and I no longer sending money each month will be you. Uncontrolled spending? I've not been wasting any money like you think I've been. It's just that I didn't know at the time how badly my husband's company had been suffering. And do you know why that is? 
because you never listen to anyone else and will only base your decisions off of the delusions you have. This is what you get for being so arrogant and selfish. You do not have to speak to me like that because I get it already. And I have thought about all the wrongs I've done now and want to change. Also, I heard another thing from Max. You are pregnant right now, aren't you, Lucille? And why does that matter to you, Irene? Like I was saying before, I've cut ties to you, so you won't ever get to see my baby or be a part of their life. You being pregnant now matters a lot to me, though. I really do feel bad for the way I've been treating you this whole time. However, you're now going to be giving me a grandchild so we can be close to one another. All right? And that means you can keep up with that monthly allowance. No, thank you. What? You were already told what's going to happen now by Max, right? We both are completely cutting ties to you, like I already have. So there's no monthly allowance anymore. We might still be willing to send your husband some money, but that will only be going to him and cannot be given to you. You are never going to be getting another cent out of Max and I again. We will also be having our first child soon, so we have to have money for that. Which means we've been planning on stopping the money for a while now. What the heck, Lucille? You think you can just abandon me now because you have a baby coming? Don't you dare tell me you plan on abandoning a poor old woman like myself now. And what if that's exactly what I'm saying? <laughs> well, there is something else to that which you didn't mention. We are not abandoning some poor old woman. Rather, we are just cutting ties to you. Wait, oh, that's the exact same thing as what I'd said. You'll be putting my husband and I at a disadvantage by stopping that money. You think I give a damn? Shut up already. <laughs> what? You were always calling me things like fat and ugly. And then when I came over to your house to enjoy the holidays with the family, you harassed me. And today you went and embarrassed me in front of the whole family. You told me in front of everyone to lick steak sauce off my dinner plate when it came time for dinner. Don't you think it's natural for someone like me to never want anything to do with you again in their life? I'm sure you don't want to deal with me anymore, but I've learned my lesson now. That's why I'm here right now apologizing to you and wish to continue my relationship with you. Well, it's all too late for me to care about what you wish. <laughs> I want you to know that I really do mean it when I say you will never get to see our baby and you won't be receiving any more money from us. You won't ever see me again and you won't be seeing your son anymore either. And thank God for that. Lucille, you, you really can't go around saying things like that to an old lady with not much time left on this earth like me. Look, I even said that it was a misunderstanding on my part. Stop getting so upset over it. Seems that you weren't expecting things to end up this way and you're beginning to really freak out now. <laughs> but I don't care if you've learned your lesson now because you are far too late. I've cut ties to you, okay? That makes you nothing more than a stranger to me. <laughs> Actually, you'd been calling me a stranger to you this whole time, right? Did you forget about that? Lucille, I'm very sorry. All that happened was a couple of misunderstandings, so you don't have to take things that far. I'm really looking forward to having a grandchild now, and I would like to continue receiving money from you. Please. Hey, who is it that I'm talking with right now? That's how I think of things right now. I've already talked with my husband about what's happening next and he said he's on board with me cutting you out of our lives. What? He really said that? Well, I suppose he really was that upset with me earlier, but he's really not going to be cutting ties to me as well, right? Right? He's very serious right now. You know your son better than I do, probably, so you understand that he never jokes around about these things. Which means he's right with me on this one. But he's my son and I'm his mother. Do you really want to take my son away from me like that? Do you have any idea who's to blame for everything that's happening now? If you put a little bit of thought into that, you'd have the answer. Anyway, I'm sure no matter what else I say to you now, you're not going to fully grasp your situation. And no matter what you have to say to me, I'm not budging. I will never, ever want a single thing to do with someone as toxic as you again. No way. How dare my own son want to cut ties to me even? What the hell is wrong with you, woman? Even after all you've been told, you're still going to blame me? <laughs> That's a little bit more than just ridiculous, I think. Perhaps you've gone completely off the deep end now? <laughs> well, you can continue going crazy over there because you have nothing to do with me. 
And it sounds like you'll have nothing to do with most of your family now since they all want to leave you as well. <laughs> Once you've started to feel the pain of being left behind and exiled, you'll realize who's really been to blame for all this. The rest of the family too now? What the hell are all of you saying I did? I was just taking the crap out of my son's back-talking wife for a little bit. Isn't it kind of cute for us to go back and forth like that? Even if you were picking on me little by little, at some point I wasn't going to be able to take it anymore and this exact same thing would happen. From now on, it would be best that you really put some thought into what you do and say before you act, alright? Well, it's not like you'll be having to worry about upsetting your family anymore since they're all leaving you. So why even bother being careful now? <laughs> Lucille, would you cut all of that out? Listen to what your damn mother-in-law has to say to you. Do as I say and come back here and talk to everyone about how this is a misunderstanding I had. And don't let Max think things like wanting to cut ties to me ever again. You also let me see your kid when they're born. These are all my demands. Your demands? Who the hell are you? <laughs> I don't have to listen to a single word you say, so get lost. I'm out of here myself now. This means there's no point in messaging me anymore because I'm muting you now. Please let your husband know I'm still willing to talk with him, though. Now how about you go and lick some steak sauce or something, you old frickin' hag? <laughs> <laughs> because of what my mother-in-law Irene did this time on with everyone around, the whole family was in disbelief. And from now on, she'll no longer be invited to any more of the family gatherings. Max's aunts and uncles all cut ties to her, as did her nieces and nephews, who all told her before the end of the holiday that she needed to get a life outside of picking on pregnant women. By the way, her husband told her that he'd be moving out and living in a separate place from her, and Max cut ties to her as well. Who knows what Irene will really be able to do next now that she's been completely pushed away by everyone. A little while after all of that happened, I gave birth to a happy and healthy baby girl, and her name is Lexi. Max and I both took some time off work to stay home with the baby and relax as much as two brand new parents could. And of course, like I'd been saying to Irene earlier, she'll never be allowed to see my baby. Anyone can see why something like that would be happening now, after all the hell she put me through mentally. Max would later talk with his dad about things like the company's future, and they came to the agreement that his dad would give him the company and would retire. So Max went and quit his job that he had at the time and started to make preparations for everything. Max later went back to his dad's house with him and started to work for him in an attempt to get his company back on the road again before he took over. And along with that, he helped his dad kick Irene out of the house entirely. And who knows where she'll be going now. She's far too old to be doing much about herself, so who's to say she's going to make it far in her older age now anyway? <laughs> His dad will be selling that house soon and will be using all the money he gets to move away once he's given the company to Max, who will go live closer to his brothers. As for myself, I think I'll start going back to work in another couple of months here, and during that time, Max should be able to be back working from home as a CEO. I'm not sure if that's all going to work out for us just yet, since it depends on what Max and his dad can do for that company right now, but I have a lot of faith in them and look forward to things working out like everyone has planned.